Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this Hexagon 2.5 tutorial. Uh, recently in the, uh, on uh, my YouTube uh, channel, uh, somebody had asked me about the uh, No Bullying uh, video. I did not record audio in that. Uh, at the time I recorded that, uh, I had a, a just a standard plug-in microphone and uh, the audio was t terrible in it and I had a lot of buzzing noise and uh, so I didn't put audio in that one so I thought uh, what I'd do is go ahead and and uh, show you how I did that technique and so now that I have a USB microphone which is a lot better I uh, kinda give you a demonstration of that technique of creating the hole in a in a square object uh, without booleen. There are a lot of different ways to do it, but this is just one technique, so I'm going to show you that technique, and then you can uh, modify that technique to do other things. And so, anyway, I hope uh, this will help you <clears throat> um, in your modeling endeavors. And so, let's go ahead and get started. Um, also, I uh, wanted to mention I uh, have the uh, the command viewer displayed up here um, so anytime uh, you need to know the hotkeys that I'm using or uh, what mouse actions that I'm using uh, you can find that up displayed up here so anyway uh, I will also give the hotkeys uh, verbally uh, so the f let's get started so uh, I'm gonna hit uh, my two key on the numbers pad to go to the front view and then I'm going to hit my five key on the numbers pad to go to the top view and uh, then I'm going to tap my P key uh, to go from uh, perspective to orthographic view and then I'm going to go up here to the lines tab we're going to select circle from center and we're going to start a circle from the very center of our grid here and just drag it out oh, let's say right there and uh, the number if you look here under the properties panel uh, you can see the number of points on the circle is 20 and we're just going to leave it at that and we're going to validate that so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hold my control key and then I'm going to scale out and what that does is extrude um, our curve and also let's go ahead and go to under the scene panel and go to the properties tab and turn off these grids and uh, under the scene tab uh, on the uh, scene tree uh, you can see that uh, since I extruded that, <clears throat> we created a new object, uh, which that is Form 7. And then we still have our, cur our original curve there. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to right-click in my uh, 3D space here. And then I'm going to select uh, the, to bring up the context menu and then we're going to go back to object selection and we're going to select that curve and we're just going to delete that get it out of our way we could have just hit it in there uh, but I kind of like to keep uh, my scene panel as organized as I can and less confusing so anyway now we need to make sure we have that selected and uh, we're going to go to edge selection and we'll select one of these edges here bring up the context menu and do an edge loop selection let's just go ahead and scale that in a bit um, down here I'm going to go ahead and go to wireframe so we can kind of see what's going on a little bit better and then I'm going to go to point selection and we're going to select uh, these points right here um, and that's going to be let's see one two three and then the center and one two 
three in the center. I'm also going to turn on symmetry up here under the properties panel and we're going to set it to on the z-axis so whatever we're doing up here will also happen down here so now what we want to do is flatten this oops flatten this out that's not what I wanted to do okay well I guess we're not going to use symmetry um, so go ahead and turn your symmetry off and what we want to do is flatten this out and I can just scale that down till it's flat or I can go over here and under size in the uh, Z direction we can zero that out so I'm just going to highlight that or zero and then hit enter and then we'll do the same thing on the other side we'll just zero that out again and then we'll just go grab this outside edges there and now I think we can turn the symmetry back on but we need to have it in the uh, in the X direction and then we'll go up here in the properties panel under size we're going to highlight uh, the size on the X enter zero and hit enter and that gives us a a square with a hole in the center, a nice round hole. Now you can go back in here and and uh, resize that if you resize that if you want to meet your needs, uh, whatever you're modeling. Um, also, we could uh, go into here the vertex vertex modeling tab. And we could uh, just create a symmetry over here. Well, what's going on here? Mm, something happened. Let's abort that. Let's make sure we're uh, in object selection. I think that was the problem. So anyway, uh, nope, don't want to extract. We'll do a symmetry and we'll put that on the X minus, I believe it is. Nope the X positive. There we go. Uh, it creates us another one and let's turn clone on and and uh, whatever we do on this side will happen on that side too so I can oh, let's board that. Keep messing that up. My apologies. Let's go back here and create that again and we do have the clone on now. Let's validate that and you can see we still have uh, our clone is still turned on so now we can go in here and let's see ring select that tap our X key to create another loop in there if we want to um, or we can go in here and loop select that and um, sorry if I'm going through this kind of fast but uh, a lot of these things I've already covered or will go be covering um, in later tutorials. I keep messing up here. Loop select and then extract along. So as you can see that's happening also on our clone side here. Um, one thing you will notice that uh, on our original object here, it's uh, um, our bright color and our clone is is black, and that's because our uh, normals are reversed on it. And that pretty much always happens in hexagon when uh, you have uh, when you make a clone and there's a couple other tools that that happens on too and I have uh, done another video that shows how to correct that so I'm not going to cover it here um, but hopefully this will uh, give you some idea of some of the things you can do uh, let's go ahead and over here under scene panel and you've, 
you see a little shape looks like a C that means that's a clone and just click on that to get rid of the, the clone and now we have two objects uh, let's go ahead and select both of those and then weld them together and as you can see after when you weld those together it it uh, corrects those normals let's go ahead and control Z that and I'll show you something else let's get rid of the clone and delete that and you could also uh, use your thicken tool under the surface modeling tab to give that some thickness um, you could use your symmetry or you could uh, go up here under the utilities tab and make multiple copies of that um, and validate that and then drag this original object into that group there select it and ungroup to the root and then we could grab all these and weld all those together and then we could go in there and add thickness validate that so anyway uh, as you can see there's all kinds of things you can do um, you could go in there and uh, tweak your cur original curve some and uh, anyway I I didn't cover every little thing I did in here I just kinda wanted to, to put some audio to that technique and I kinda give you something to chew on and I hope uh, this will help you in some way and I appreciate you uh, watching and hopefully before long I will be doing some more recording and I will slow down and and do a little bit better uh, as far as explaining things and I've got a lot planned I've got a lot going on uh, a lot of really neat tutorials coming up so make sure you subscribe uh, to keep up with me or you can visit my blog uh, so I will uh, post a link to my blog in a in the next video I do so anyway have a great day